So, Ali Pincus, co-founder of One Kings Lane, you are um, married to Mark Pincus, who gets um, a lot of attention, but <laughs> you and of your own right have built a huge e-commerce empire. Well, it's a, te a great team of us have built something that we really believe in, and um, we're really excited about how we're changing the way that women and men to some degree are shopping for their homes. Mm -hmm. I feel like you guys were part of this wave that everyone got really excited about, about mm. e-commerce coming back. And you were sort of in the same breath as, you know, as Guilt and then like with the Daily Deal sites. Mm -hmm. And now we have like e-commerce in a box. And as the enthusiasm has waned, a lot of those companies aren't doing so well. And people were saying that things like flash sales and Daily Deals and e-commerce in a box were all just gimmicks. And maybe these companies aren't lasting. So. Mm -hmm. How are you guys weathering sort of that, that fad running out? Are you still a flash site? Have you evolved? Are you something more meaningful? I mean, we've definitely evolved. You know, we've been around for over three years, mm -hmm. and the breadth and the depth, I think, truly allows us to say that we've evolved um, beyond flash sales. You know, obviously, every day you do come, if, if someone comes to our site, they're going to see new, new offerings every single day, and that actually keeps us fresh and really exciting for mm -hmm. our audience. So I think we've sort of evolved into a lot of different things. Um, but I actually, personally, I'm very excited about where e-commerce is heading. What's your advice for um, a entrepreneur out there who is looking at all of this fervor in e-commerce and you know wants to hop in? My advice would be really look for the white spaces and see where there are opportunities and see if, if things are broken and mm -hmm. can you innovate and change the way people are thinking or shopping and transacting with with a category. I have to ask you a work-life balance question. Yeah. I know they're annoying, but you and, and your husband are both building companies and you've, you've had this crazy thing where both of your companies have hit in a huge way. And you guys are relatively new parents. How on earth are you juggling those three things? <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, so we and hired you had twins. So, so Susan, you had double the kids I had, and I'm, I'm barely twins, holding on. Yes. So <laughs> Susan and I hired an amazing CEO mm -hmm. um, to run One Kings Lane, and and um, we Doug joined us two years ago, um, and it's been incredible. And I'm so inspired by the people and by just everything that we're doing. Mm -hmm. It's really, really inspiring. So I think that allows me to sort of help make it work because you know when you're raising twins, it's tough. So you guys are always very heads down. You're not a company that tries to go out and get a lot of press. Mm -hmm. But what can we expect this year from One Kings Lane? Is it just more blocking and tackling, getting bigger, or is you know what is what is the big thing that's going to happen? Well, we launched a new marketplace mm -hmm. a couple months ago, and that was very exciting for us. And it was sort of our first step in directed shopping. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you woke up and said, "I'm really interested in." this category and perhaps even like this sort of product, you could go onto our website and you could start looking for it. So it sort of took the serendipity nature of the site to um, a more directed shopping focus. Mm -hmm. But we but we're balancing both and it's it's a great experience because you can come in and every morning there's new surprises, meaning new sales, mm -hmm. and there's great value and if you're looking for something in particular, you can also go and look for that as well. So flash sales, is that still the core of the business? So we have, I mean, every day we're launching new sales, but mm -hmm. we're not, we don't necessarily um, brand ourselves a flash sale company. We've moved, I mean, our company's evolved over the past three plus years.